Uh, Steve O'Leary, my boat's Big Bird and Neil 47 Trimaran. And how did you get on on the crossing? It does a, a beautiful job sailing. Um, we did lose our engine uh, at the end of the race after we crossed this, the finish line. It wouldn't start up, so uh, it sails very nice. Uh, doesn't doesn't do <laughs> very well under engine right now. So had you run the engine a lot on the voyage? There were a, a couple days uh, early on when the wind dropped to three knots that uh, you'd just be bobbing in the ocean without it. So everybody had to run a certain time. And, and it's part of the, actually the strategy to try to do well in the, in the rankings. You have to know when to, to take the engine penalty and, and how much to take versus uh, you know going very, very slowly through the water. So what happened as you approached the um, finish line and you went to turn the engine on? Nothing. Nothing, yeah, nothing it, 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 it doesn't doesn't turn over. So, so I'm I'm the welcoming committee here at, at the quarantine dock. So I get to see everybody arrive and, and say hello. Ah, so otherwise, would you normally have been moved elsewhere? Uh, correct. Yes, yeah, so I I'm I'm staying here for at least a week until we figure out how to how to remedy the the solution. Uh, have you got people coming to have a look at the uh, boat? One one uh, a technician has been here, and now it's the weekend. And it is the island, so there's no work on the weekend. <laughs> oh. <laughs> so how are you going to spend your time now you're here? Uh, my family's coming to uh, fly in on uh, Monday, and the island looks beautiful, and there's plenty of uh, waterfalls to go see and hike to and jump off of, and monkeys that go for a ride on your back. So we're all excited to, to spend some time here in Grenada. Amazing. And then what are your plans after that? Are you, are you sailing back home? Well, that's all uh, engine dependent. So we'll wait and see. We were going to spend the, the holidays cruising the islands. So um, I think next week th th that we'll have our answer if we're, if we're um, spending a lot of time in Grenada and potentially sail up to Martinique uh, where they can do some work on the boat and then get towed in there. But, but that's, uh, yeah, that's as far as we got right now. But apart from the engine, you did pretty well, didn't you? Were you the first or the second day of the line, I think? We were uh, four hours behind at Outremere 51. Um, their handicap is, is much higher than ours, so they needed 30 plus hours to, to overtake us on the, um, uh, in the results. So we have a, a good buffer on, on them just because of the handicap.